Hello and welcome, ITTV Gaming here. Uh, in today's episode, we are going to continue building this Acacia Mansion. This is actually one of my older projects and I never had the time to get back to it. But today is the day we are going to finish this one. If you didn't see the first episode, there will be a link in the description. And if you want to build along with today's episode, there will be a requirement list in the description as well. So once you got everything, let's get started. So the first thing what we're going to do is we're going to add some pillars. So let's light up everything first and let's indicate some extra pillars. We go once that is done what you want to do is you want to take some acacia stairs and we're going to go all the way around so let's start off here here you just want to continue like this add it in go back and do the exact same thing right here So next up, let's replace the floor and I'm going to use some stripped echo wood, but you can definitely use whatever you like to. Okay, now let's indicate the second floor as well. But before that, let's fix up this roof. Now we can add another row of stairs going across over here. Then you want to add a row of dark oak slabs going across. Then one block above that you just want to go ahead and place some cobblestone slabs. Just like that. So next up, let's build in the second floor. Now I'm going to use the second floor actually as a storage area. So you just want to go in four blocks. One, two, three, four. And we are going to do this all the way. So you just want to go in line with this. Like so. So one, two, three, four. Now we can go this way. Counting from this one. So one two three four now we have five in total because we count from this point then go across again one two three four let's go this way once more and you should end up with an area like that so now let's fill in everything Here we go, now we need a staircase going up. But before that, let's add some iron bars surrounding this. Then at the corners, we are going to add some lanterns. Okay, now let's build in a staircase and I'm going to use the acacia wood with some black concrete. So let's get at the center. So these two blocks, then you can get rid of this, add some stairs, then we're going to go down. So you just want to go down three blocks. After that, you want to add some full blocks like this. We're going to add two rows, doesn't really matter. And after that, you can just go down again, simply like so. And it should perfectly line up like this. And on the back side, it should just look fine. So now let's add some stairs over here as well, just for decoration. Then on the sides, we're going to go up with some iron bars. this and let's do the same thing over here okay 
here we go now obviously we are going to use this area as well so let's fill this in and we are going to make this a cooking area so you can take two furnaces and place it in like that okay once that is done what we're going to do is we're going to build a living room now i'm going to use this side over here but you can definitely use which side you like to so first let's add some black concrete blocks underneath you just want to add some stairs and do the same thing on top followed with some iron bars add the acacia stairs again like this make sure that you add it in the same order take these brewster doors place it in and open them up Here we go and we still need to light this up so what we're going to do is we're going to add first some stairs going on the sides then let's take some barrels and place it in and on top of the corner barrels we are going to add two lanterns just to light this all up take some bookshelves and place it at the corners going up just like that okay now we still need a bedroom so we're going to use one of these sites and i'm going to go for this one so let's build this in first and let's indicate another pillar going up and then let's even have another pillar over here going up as well until this point take the acacia block and go across just to indicate a separate room doesn't have to be perfect then take your stairs go across go in from this point and connect these two points as well here we are going to add some bookshelves just for decoration again. This is going to be the bedroom area. So first let's go up on the sides. Let's cover this. Then add some blocks again. We are going to add four in total. Add two beds on top. Add your stairs. And after that you want to take some black concrete and go up. Take your buttons again and place them in. Then once more we are going to add some doors and open them up. Then you want to take some dark oak fences, place it on the sides, followed with a lantern, just to light it up. Take the iron bars, go up on the sides, just like this. Now if you want to, you can even add some stairs going around like this, just for decoration actually. And then you want to take some barrels again, place it in like this and on top as well, followed with some iron bars on the sides. Okay, now this is going to be the bedroom area. We got a living room a cooking area a bedroom and we can even build a separate kitchen and i'm going to do this because i really want to use the acacia stairs for this design so first let's make a l shape going in line with this now we can build this up and i don't want to make it too big so let's go across right here and then go back and leave one block of space here we're going to do the same thing go across Go in. Here we go. After that, take your stairs and go all the way around. Actually, this doesn't line up. Now it does. So now you can add some stairs again. Going all the way around. After that, you can add some black concrete on top of this. Leave two blocks of space over here and go in. So now we got this, add some buttons going across, take the iron trapdoors and place it in as well. Okay, now we are going to add an extra furnace on both sides, followed with some walls going all the way up. Then at the center, we can add two crafting tables. Take your stairs and go all the way around just to decorate this a little bit place some dark oak wood and two lanterns like so okay now we got everything done for the first floor now we can definitely add some extra pillars over here just to make it sure that it is symmetrical then on both sides we're going to add some bookshelves again well actually only on this side because on this side we got a wall so it doesn't really matter here you just want to go across with some stairs just to decorate this a little bit and let's finish this off with some stairs again just like this here we need to do the same thing okay now the second floor we are going to use it mainly for storage so what we're going to do is we are going to build in these walls let's actually make sure that it is in line with each other now we got here 
two sides which we can use and I'm going to make this one side as well. So let's build this up here. You just get rid of this and make it go across. Here we are going to do the same thing. Now, if you want to, you can definitely make some more storage areas, which I'm not going to do. I'm going to add a extra one over here and on the opposite side, right over here. And I'm going to leave it as it is. So let's build all of this up. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve areas for storage. So let's add our chests in. Here we go. Now, like I said, you can definitely add a lot more storage to this if you want to, but I'm going to keep it like this just to make it simple. Now we are going to add some dark oak fences. And then you just want to add a lantern just to light it up. Okay, once we got all of that in, what you want to do is you want to go across with some bookshelves like this, just to add some bookshelves as well for decoration purposes only, obviously. And here we're going to add a L shape. Again, just for some decoration, then you can add another fence like this. Yeah, now let's repeat the same thing over here. Now, if you want to, you can definitely add a lot more things to this build, but I'm going to keep it as it is because I'm actually very happy with how this one turned out. And hopefully you will enjoy this one as well. And if you did, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. I'll see you the next time.